everyone, it's Nona Grace, and we need to be pushed just a little bit that way because I don't see my name. A little more, a little more, right there, that's good. There, now I can see my name behind me. So you can see my name behind me too. Well, hi everyone, my name is Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Doyle, I didn't forget. I almost did though. <laughs> um, today, I'm going to put in a little tiny video of that ice water, the water that yesterday was stuck. I went to pick it up and it wouldn't move. Well, today I went out there and I gave it a little tap with my toe and it came loose. So let's go to that video and you can see what I did with that ice. Yesterday, the small container that was frozen, I gave it a little tap and I brought it in. Now I'm going to run a little water on it and I'll show you what it looks like when the cap comes off. Put a little water in there and the the ring on the outside starts to break away. I'll take that ice out. And then I'll let it just sit and it will it will melt away from here so I can take the top off. ready to come off. It just loosened. I'm going to see if I can hold the camera. Whoa, don't fall in the sink. Hold the camera and undo it at the same time. I need both hands to the top. It turns. It turned. Okay, now I'm going to lift it and see what happens. And there's the block of ice. Here's the cover. Here's the ice. It's just, it's a huge, it's just a block of ice. It's hollow on the inside, so it's still a little wet on the inside. But here's the block of ice. <laughs> Pretty nifty, huh? And then I'll just let this sit here and it will thaw. It really didn't take long for that to open up. It only took a few minutes and that the hardest part was holding the camera and trying to open the container because I needed two hands. Is that you ringing? I can, you know? Yeah, it's some random call. Oh, okay. Number, I have no clue what it is. Okay. One of those well, I got, I got two telemarketers. Remember I said I hadn't gotten any telemarketers? Mm -hmm. Well, I got two telemarketer calls today. One was for Social Security. My Social Security was going to be turned off. <laughs> and the other one was um, my car was going to not be covered. Your, your warranty was Warranty expiring. was expiring or something. So the first one that called was the Social Security one. And the person goes, and I, and I said, hi, you know, and I asked, I says, gee, I says, how come you're calling me when Social Security told me that they were never going to call on the phone? Somebody really wants you. No? I have no idea. Well, and maybe they, they leave a voicemail? We'll see if they do. Okay. Well, anyways, they, they wanted to... to, to, to it's, you've got to put it down. Yeah. That's interesting. We're getting interrupted. <laughs> That's part of my video. I'm going to leave it in, most likely. But anyways, they I, they said to them that Social Security told me that they were never going to call me on the phone, that they would always send a letter in the mail, or they would send me an email. And I said, I'm looking in my email right now, and I don't see anything, and they hung up. So they knew they were scammers. And then um, the other call about the car warranty they go, well, hi, I, I, I was Crystal, I think her name was. <laughs> I don't even know. And, or Valerie, Dread, something like Valerie that, Valerie. I said, hi, Valerie. Oh, my goodness, I haven't heard from you in a long time. And I went on and on and on. But Valerie wasn't in the mood to play. She says, do you have a car? And I says, of course I have a car, Valerie. You know I have a car. Well, what's your car? I says, you know what kind of car I drive. It's a blue Nova 77. And she said, 
do you have anything that's newer, like a 2019? I says, no, you know I drive a 1977 Nova, and it's blue. And she hung up on me. So nobody wanted to play. Oh, well. Um, I had to put Mr. Brown in my enclosed porch today because that's the coldest, coolest spot that I can... Whoa. It's not supposed to ring when it's down there. I don't know. Somebody wants something. You better answer it and find out. I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> Did they leave you a message? They can leave a message. They, they can want. leave a message. Um, no. It's not supposed to ring. It's not supposed to ring. Maybe you have to turn it off for a moment. Just, just till I'm done. Do not disturb. Do not disturb. <laughs> okay. Well, I put Mr. Brown out on the porch. Look at that. I'm not getting. I'm not losing train of thought. But I put Mr. <laughs> I put Mr. Brown out on the porch because Mr. Brown wants to go broody, and she was really trying to get in the nest. She was in the nesting box an awful long time today, and I'm thinking. There's, Wasn't she in there a long time yesterday? She was in there a long time yesterday, but she laid an egg yesterday. Today she didn't lay an egg, but she was sitting on the two ceramic eggs. And so I put my sleeve down because I wasn't sure if she was going to bite me or not. But she doesn't bite me. She just kind of got a little bit agitated, the fact that I was taking the eggs away. And then I took her out of the box, and then I shut the door, and then she was trying to get in or trying to get into the upper part of it or something, I don't know. So I decided I better just put her in her own little cage that's got nothing in it, just a roosting bar. And then I put it out in the enclosed porch because it's cool out there. It's probably, I don't know what the temperature is out there. It's mm, not... It's probably about it's, 45, 50. It's not freezing because I put her water and food in her cage with her because she's going to have to stay in there for now three days. Poor little thing. And I've got my fig tree out there because I was told that it needs to have 100 days of chilled air to, to maybe fruit for me. So I'm hoping it fruits for me because I've never, it's only, it's three years old. So this will be the first time if it does. But anyways, Mr. Brown is out in the porch. I also wanted to tell you that I'm going to be doing a jump rope challenge with, i got to turn it back on, with Christine. But her channel name, I, just a minute, hold on. Her name is, channel name is Changin' Chris. And I will put that uh, link in. And I found out about this through Omad Caroline. She's going to be doing it too. So I will put Omad Caroline's link in there also so that you can find her in case you'd like to visit her. She's really, I love listening to, the, to these people that are very health conscious because... I'm health conscious, and I did send an email. I had to send an email to um, Christina, or Christine, and changing Chris. I had to send her an email, and it's for a jump rope challenge. And I asked her in the in my email because jumping is where you jump with two feet together, and it's kind of hard on your on your inner organs to jump like that. And I was I asked her if I could do like skip rope, where you. You put one foot down and then the other foot follows, but it's still with a jump rope that you would be using, but it's a different kind, different form of jumping. And I guess you have to do a certain number. I don't remember what she said. I think it was 500 jumps per day. or But they don't have to be all in one shot because that would take a little while. But you, through the course of the day, you'd have to do that. But you have to send her an email to, to join in. To know that she that you're joining in so I will put the link to her channel under there so you can do that is that everything I wanted to mention I think it is yeah, I, think so. I think so so I hope you all had a great day <laughs> this was a crazy video phone calls and interruptions and <laughs> and poor mr. Brown I, mm -hmm. I gathered my eggs today I only got six eggs today I didn't get a lot of eggs so maybe today, because it's cold, it's been really, really, really cold outside, so maybe they decided not to lay so many. But it's still a lot. I am i haven't had any eggs today, but I should eat uh, eggs or two. I did make some bacon. We did have some bacon, but we didn't have the eggs. So I will talk to you all again tomorrow. You take care. Bye-bye.